Hey, football fans! I, it's been a while since I last since my last um, division preview on the NFC South, and now I'm here to talk about the last division remaining, the NFC West. While I'm doing a little exercising on my mini bike, but um, yeah, uh, the West, the NFC West has always been interesting. I've st I'm still just old enough to remember when it was geographically incorrect. It was a whole lot of fun, but yeah, uh, the NFC West has been quite interesting in recent years and it's been kind of deep as well so what do we what can we expect for 2024 as the season is what four weeks away wow amazing so um here's here's a, here's a look at each of the teams from the in this division ah uh, the arizona cardinals you know what they say about karma because um because let me explain because we all know what they've done. They fucked over poor Kyler Murray with this nonsense. They tried to tell him, you need to learn how to play quarterback. We all know what that means. And they overpaid a lousy coach because he did the bare minimum. And it destroyed the team. Now, here they are. That coach is gone, enjoying his, fr enjoying his free money. And they're picking up the pieces. At least they're trying to. 4-13 season last year. Uh, it's kind of going to get worse before it gets better. But yeah, Cardinals, they're screwed. Kyle Murray deserves better than this bullshit, that's for sure. Seriously, how fascinating are the Seattle Seahawks, huh? Remember, remember, remember uh, 2022, they traded Russell Wilson to Denver? And everybody, everybody thought, well, they're starting over. They're not going anywhere. It's a rebuilding year. And what happened? They managed to get the last spot in the playoffs. That was in 22. This past season, it was a little bit more the same, except they didn't quite make it, but they lasted the whole season. They made it to week 18. They were scoreboard watching in the, while during their game, but they got eliminated when we beat the Bears. Even so. Another 9-8 and eight season, and they almost made it. Uh, there's quite a lot of promise in Seattle, but it, it, it comes with a big change. Uh, Pete Carroll will no longer be the head coach. He got fired. Well, it's really a promotion. He's, he's up in the, the team's front office. So um, um, it's going to be a different direction at coach. But Seattle should definitely make this NFC very interesting like they have for the last few years. Um Playoffs, I don't know. It's going to be very interesting, but Seattle's definitely going to be in the thick of things. If they don't make too many mistakes, they might make it. But I don't know. I don't know if they'll actually sneak in uh, this year, like they this year, like they did two years ago. Ah, the LA Rams. They had kind of the same route that the Packers did. They had a bad start, and it looked like they were going to be done for. And then they went on this big winning tear. They only lost one game the rest of the way, and that was an uh, and that was an overtime loss. But um, yeah, the Rams really surprised me. Remember, they were coming off that bad year after the Super Bowl ch uh, championship, where they just just went to went to to, to shit in 2022. But 23 saw the promise return, and they went on a big winning tear to. Make to clinch a playoff spot on the penultimate week of the season, so um, yeah, they were one and done, but still, they were there to the dance, and the promise is there. And how about that Puka Nakua, huh? Talk, talk about your best kept secret. So now you got him and Cooper Cup on that uh, as, as your top two receivers. Of course, the defense is gonna look different because uh, Matt, uh, uh um, because uh, Aaron Donald uh, called it a career, very great player. But um, I, I I can see the Rams return to the playoffs. They have that same oomph that they've had for the last like few years. So the, the Rams are pretty good. They're pretty solid. They should be a playoff team. It should be very interesting to see what the LA Rams do in 2024. Where do the 49ers go from here? They almost, and I mean almost. Won the whole thing. Number six was almost there. It was in their grasp, and then McCole Hardman happened. Um, but, um, yeah, so to be honest, I think, well, 
they're one of those teams. Well, usually Super Bowl teams have nowhere else to go but down. But um, they're, they're not going to decline. But as far as the big picture, I can kind of see them getting knocked off from their perch when, when it counts. Because the road to the Super Bowl was not, was harder than it should have been. They barely survived a Packers team that was put together with scotch tape. <laughs> and they should have lost that NFC championship, but Dan Campbell decided, hey, let's go for it. Let's go for it on fourth down in the wrong place. Twice. So, yeah, they 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 survived that NFC run. And while they did have a good chance against Kansas City, they fizzled out, they fizzled out in the end and they came up short again. Now... There's a looming, there's a looming elephant in the room, and it comes in the form of Brandon Ayuk. Is he, will he be traded or will he not be? That's kind of been the big buzz now, and it does kind of seem like Ayuk could be out of the Niners uh, to Pittsburgh, most likely. That's the story. I'm gonna say this: if Ayuk goes, that's gonna be a big detriment to the Niners. I mean, the team's loaded, but. A lot of that loading is needed to kind of make Purdy look good. Purdy did have some moments, but he had more blunders than moments. This Purdy's not that good of a quarterback. He's not. They he needs Ayuk. He needs Debo. He needs Kibble Kittle Kittle. I almost said Kibble, but to be honest, he kind of plays like Kibble at times. He needs Kittle, and he definitely needs CMC. He needs all four of them together to have a legit shot at something. If Ayuk's traded, that's going to be a hit to the Niners. They'll still win the division because they're that good. But as far as a long run, I don't know. Debo's going to need another receiver with him. And it can't be Kittle. It can't. So we'll see what happens. If, especially if they trade Brandon Ayuk. So yeah, that's the NFC West. I just know it's going to be interesting. It always is. And living out here in Southern California, I get to see a lot of it on TV because, you know, the Rams are always on. <laughs> but, um, and, and the Rams play the Packers, um, this year. So, yay. So, um, that is my preview of the NFC West. If you like this video, click the like button. If you're on YouTube, click subscribe if you want more. If you're on TikTok, feel free to hit that follow button. My story about the NFC West will be featured. Check it out where you can. And, well, the next time I return to YouTube and TikTok will be beginning of September because I'm going to get baseball fans ready for the home stretch. It's going to be interesting. So uh, stay tuned.